happy to know I have no complaints about the weather today. Really? Woo! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Even I, Lainey is cheering. I did not see this broadcast going in that direction when I was looking at the rundown a few uh, minutes yeah. ago, Lainey. I, I consider me stunned. Wow. Uh, well, and, and it's raining too, right? Right, I, exactly. <laughs> Clouds, yeah. so wet weather, kind of a dreary day, but not a bad day when you consider that we have temperatures in the 60s in January, and I think that's what it is. 65 was the high in Greensboro, 68 in Burlington. It's a little cooler north and west. Remember, we talked about this yesterday, how we'd have this front of this air mass sort of divided on top of us. So temperatures are some 15 to 25 degrees warmer than they were this time yesterday. And we are sitting in the 60s still. Greensboro at 60, 67 in Burlington, mid 50s from Winston-Salem up to Reedsville and low 50s in the mountains. We've had occasional light rain, which we do have across the area right now. We also have some fog that is set up right along that boundary too. So visibilities are down in North Wilkesboro at three quarters of a mile, one mile visibility in Galax, shifting our attention to the triad, not quite as thick, but we do have some fog as you travel north up toward Danbury there in Stokes County. In the triad, we also have some light rain from Thomasville up toward High Point, Kernersville, Winston-Salem, Jamestown, Greensboro, widen out the view and you can see it's kind of filling in over Davidson and Randolph counties, not really amounting to much. Most of it has been very light today. A few one hundredths of an inch, maybe a tenth of an inch, and we anticipate it staying light overnight, but picking up in intensity and becoming more widespread tomorrow. And we've got impact days for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then we'll see the rain letting up some by Sunday. This is the main focus for the rain in the Thursday time period, and you can see it kind of lining up out to the west. So that'll be moving in during the day tomorrow. So you can see not only is it heavy rain, but we could have even the isolated thunder with this and it's warm. Temps are in the 60s. Now into Friday morning, our front is approaching. It's still warm ahead of it. I don't think we're going to see as much coverage on Friday, but still with some scattered showers in the forecast. There's also the potential on Thursday, especially that we may have isolated thunder, but notice that we're not talking about severe weather. It's just those generic thunderstorms and that continues even into early Friday. The greater threat is probably too much rain with excessive rainfall as a possibility especially in the mountains where we're going to get some snow melt on top of that too. Rainfall between now and tomorrow morning is very light, but it does pick up during the day tomorrow where we start to get some one inch totals there, even heading into Friday and Saturday. So we're going to compound that with more rain on top of it. This is tomorrow morning. It's spotty. It's very light. As we go through the day, it gets a little bit heavier. Those heavier downpours in the afternoon and evening and continuing into Thursday night. Here's the forecast for tomorrow. Temperatures rising overnight, remember, and then continue to rise during the day. We'll be in the upper 60s by afternoon with breezy southwest winds. We're also looking at temperatures climbing in the foothills into the mid 60s. Even in the mountains, it's going to be balmy, close to 60 degrees tomorrow with that south wind. Fog, drizzle, light rain tonight, heavier rain tomorrow. Heading into the weekend, that front pushes in on Friday. We have maybe less of a rain chance Friday, but then it builds back on Saturday as an area of low pressure moves along the front. So it's not a whole lot colder on Saturday or Sunday. It's maybe just slightly cooler. You're going to see highs that are close to 60 degrees. But when that weather system finally moves out, we may get a smidge of sunshine by Sunday and we get more normal temperatures by Monday. And Christina's not quite as happy. <laughs>